What up, Akron? What up, Facebook? It's your boy Chance, aka ES Blade, aka Retro Gamer, aka Shadow Blade, whatever you guys want to call me by, it don't matter. But right now, I got someone that I want to call out from here in Akron, Ohio. And with that being said, I am going to invite you guys in because you guys are going to want to hear this. Like, it's it's actually a laughable. Like, if you guys can tell by the title, you guys are going to laugh. And I mean laugh at what I'm about to tell you guys. Like, I couldn't believe the balls on this kid. Like, What up to everybody watching, man? What up, Josh? What's up, everybody? So, today, my little sister came over, hung out for a bit. My little sister, Alyssa. Shout out to Alyssa. Love you, sis. You're awesome. But shortly after she left, came over to hang out for a bit. My ex-best friend, Jake, shows up out of the blue. Just completely out of random. And me and him were sitting down, you know, talking and shit. Just shooting the shit. Well, while we're sitting there talking, you know, he's got a new truck. So I was like, you know, it's cool. You know, it's a Dodge. It's a nice one. It's a 95. Not a bad year for Dodge. Not going to lie. Pretty damn good. It's a 95 Dodge Ram. You know, V6. Not bad. So, like, I asked him when he was running underneath the hood, and he's like, you know, V6, no turbo with intercooler. So, like, all right, cool, you know, pop the hood. Let's see this monster. Let's see the beast. So, he freaking pops the hood, and I'll admit, not a bad engine at all. Not bad. It's actually pretty damn decent for the year. Um, it could use a few upgrades, not gonna lie, but other than that, I mean, the engine's freaking solid, it's nice. But, this dude had the fucking balls to say that his 95 Dodge Ram, which is, and keep in mind, it's a V6 with intercooler, so it's set up for, you know, off-road, street, drag, that kind of thing. And, he, and also, bear in mind, this guy's running 15s on tires. This guy's running 15-inch tires. Not going to lie, not that bad for a 95. Not bad at all. But this dude had the balls to sit there and call our roommate out in a way. He sat right there in front of my face. And keep in mind. Now, keep in mind, guys. Our roommate has a V8 Ford F-150 2013, I believe it is. He had the balls to sit there and freaking say that his Dodge could beat our roommate's Ford F-150, which keep in mind, it is a V8 with a freaking manufacturer turbo. This dude really thinks that he could beat out a freaking Ford F-150 with turbo factory made. Because it came with a factory, if you guys don't know, the 2013 Ford F-150 did come manufactured with turbo automatically. But this dude's sitting here saying that he could beat out our freaking roommate's Ford F-150. Like, dude. Like, I, when he told me that, I, I kept my mouth shut. But I'm just sitting there in my mind thinking, dude, you would get blown the fuck away. Like. You may as well freaking put your truck in park and just leave it there because 
You ain't keeping up with that kind of horsepower, man. Like, I just, I thought it was freaking hilarious. Like, granted, like I said, his V6 is not bad, especially for the make it, which it is, which is the 1995. Not gonna lie. You know, good year for Dodge, like I said, good trucks, nice body. You know, they came with some pretty good body kits, not gonna lie. I mean, he's got a pretty sick body kit on it, not gonna lie. Um, he's got a brand new grill, like I said, new intercooler. He actually just installed that in. But for you to sit there and think that just because you got an intercooler, which doesn't do much for your speed to begin with, like, how are you going to sit there and say that you can beat out a Ford F-150 with a V8 turbo engine? Like, dude. Oh, my God. Like, he legit called him out in front of everyone. And I'm just like, dude, you ain't, you ain't as badass as you think, dude. If you guys want to know his name, his name is Jake Brony. You can look him up on Facebook. But yeah, this dude had the balls to call out our freaking roommate saying that his freaking car can just destroy the F-150. Like, dude. Like, yeah, I haven't seen you in a year. It's cool that you got a truck. It's cool that you got a job as a, sec as a security downtown. Don't get me wrong. That's great. I'm proud of you. I'm proud that you changed your life around, dude. And if you guys do happen to know Jake, and if he does have Facebook, let me know, because I want him to see this shit. So, Jake, if you're watching this, man, which I'm pretty sure you are, but, dude, you are not beating our roommate's truck. Like, there's just no beating it, man. Like, yeah, you might be able to beat out, like, a Honda Civic or something like that. And don't get me wrong. If tuned right, a Honda Civic can be pretty damn fast. Not going to lie. They can be pretty freaking quick. Not going to lie. I've driven them before. On games, I've tested them during sim, you know, doing simulators like real life simulators, not like the crappy ones, but the high end ones. I have tested them, not bad for drag, but dude, that's about all you can beat is a freaking Honda Civic or better yet, dude, you could probably beat maybe a Persia, and that's about it. But, dude, for you to sit there and call out our roommate saying that you can beat his Ford F-150, dude, you're out of your fucking mind, man. Like, bro, like, you may as well just freaking leave your truck and park, get out and walk home. Because if it was a race for pink slips, you would lose right off the fucking back. Unless you had a turbo into it, then you might stand a chance. But even that's a long shot, man. Like, how are you going to sit there and do that? Like, you know, like I said, it was cool that you came over and we got to catch up a little bit. But for you to sit there and call out our roommate, like, bro, like, you're, ah, oh, man, you done fucked up. Exactly, dude. My point exactly. And, like, and don't get me wrong. Dodge does have a few really good cars out, like the Dodge Viper, the Dodge Challenger, um, even the Dodge 2017-2018 Hellcat. Not going to lie. They got some sick cars, you know, badass muscle cars coming out. Not going to lie. You know, I am a fan of the Hellcat, the Viper, and the Charger and Challenger. Not going to lie. I love those cars. But for you to sit there and think that you could beat out a 2013 Ford F-150 with your 95 Ford, 
Bro, what the fuck kind of drugs are you on, man? Like, oh, shit, dude. Like, I'm sorry, guys, but this is just hilarious. Like, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Like I said, the engine he's running under his hood, not bad for the year and the make and the model. Not going to lie. Pretty damn good. You know, like I said, you know, it's not a bad year for the make and the model. As I said, actually, 95, when I was five, that was actually a really good year for, you know, Dodge Rams. They actually made pretty good Dodge Rams back then. Not going to lie. That year was pretty decent. Um, I like the years from about 91, 92 up to, I'd say... 2007, 2008 is like when they just started getting really stupid. Oh, hell yeah, definitely. But like, you know, for this dude to sit there and just straight up call out a guy who he knows has the bigger engine just by looking at it. Like, his car's, you know, smaller in size. Like, his truck's a little bit smaller in size. Like, not much, but it's a little bit. But, oh, my God. Like, our freaking roommate's truck, like, you can tell just by staring at it that it's packing a lot of fucking power under that hood. Like, you ain't even got to pop the hood to know what he's fucking running. Because of how freaking wide the hood is on top of the freaking length of the freaking grill and everything, dude. Like, the thing's fucking massive. Like, if you stand it, like, if you take... And you guys, I know you all have seen our organ that we have. If you guys take the side of that and measure top to bottom, like, that's how big our roommate's front end is. Like, it's fucking huge. But, like, you can tell just by staring at that thing. Oh, my God, man. That thing is a monster. And get this, dude. He pulls up to the driveway when I'm knocking on the door. All I hear is a ying ying. And when he lived, when he left, I was on the porch. He started it up, revved it, didn't feel a fucking thing. Our roommate, I go out on the back porch. I can stand in the fucking kitchen by the doorway. And when he revs that thing, I can feel the fucking vibrations. From the damn revving. That's how much power he's fucking packing under that thing. Like, he can literally, like, if he wanted to, he could probably pull a fucking wheelie off with the right touch. But, dude, for you to fucking call out our roommate like that, thinking that you could whoop his ass on a drag strip or any kind of race... Dude, you're fucking insane. Like, it's almost like you want to lose. Shout out to Eric, man. What's good, dude? And shout out to Matthew and everybody watching who I missed. I do apologize for not seeing you guys' names. But for this man to sit here and do this is like, are you asking to lose? Hey, not much, man. Just telling everybody about what my ex-best friend Jake did after he showed up. Um, if you guys don't know, let me fill you guys in. So, like I was telling everybody, my little sister Alyssa came over, hung out, spent some time over here, and then left. 
Well, about, I'd say a couple hours after she left, my ex-best friend, Jake, out of the blue, mind you, wasn't expecting it at all. I was actually sitting here doing a time attack for um, the um, toge on Osaluto Racing and just chilling and stuff because, you know, as you guys know, I am competing in the Osaluto Racing Tournament this year. So, you know, I was sitting there tuning my cars on there and getting them set up and ready when I hear this knock on the door. Didn't even hardly hear the truck pull up. And at first I was like, you know, maybe it's just some random, like, person or whatever. So I just ignored it until I heard a clack, clack, clack again. So I go over the door, answer the door. My ex-best friend Jake shows up. Didn't think anything of it. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know, like, what's going on, man? Like, how you been? You know, he's got a new truck. Well, me and him sit down, shoot the shit for a few hours, and, you know, catch up a little bit. Well, he sees our roommate's Ford F-150, which is a 2013, I believe. I'm not sure on the year. I will have to ask, but I'm pretty sure it's a 2012-2013 model. But, and keep in mind, our roommate is driving... A Ford F-150 with a V8 with turbo factory tuned in. Because he got one of the ones with the turbo that was factory tuned, which I thought was pretty badass. Not going to lie, that the engine in that thing is a fucking beast. But my ex-best friend Jake is driving a, a 1995 V6 Dodge Ram with no turbo and just an intercooler on the front end. Which I like the intercooler, I'll admit, is pretty badass. I do like the setup for that that he's got, not going to lie. Like, instead of having it straight across, he's got, like, two like two or three small square ones that you can put over and go up and down. Like, you can put it on the lip of the engine bay and it goes up and down. He's got two or three of those. Pretty sick. I like the setup. Not going to lie. I'm a bit of a fan of the old school style as well as the new school. I do like new school better, but the old school ones are pretty sick. Like, I do like those. But me and him were sitting there talking and shit. And I told him, I was like, yo, you know, watch about the hood. Like, I want to see what you're running underneath. Because he's running 15-inch tires and shit. Not going to lie. And they're good year. I did forget to mention that they are good years, so they were pretty good, not gonna lie. So he fucking goes into the driver's seat, you know, pops the hood, and pops open, you know, throws it open. This dude is running a V6 non turbo engine. And his exact remark was, oh, I'll bet you that because my car and my truck's better, I can beat out, or I can beat that Ford F-150 because I have a V6. And at that moment, I just, I died, man. I fucking lost it right there, like... Oh, my God. Like, I didn't say a damn word. But inside, I'm just sitting there thinking, dude, yeah, fucking right. If this were a pink slip race, you may as well hand it over right now because you're going to lose. So this man literally called out our roommate saying that he can beat him. Ignore that. That's our dog going nuts. But, like, I'm sitting there laughing my ass off inside so hard at this kid right now. Like, the fact that you think you really think that you stand a chance without a turbo on beating a V8 with factory tuned turbo. Like, oh my gosh. 
So and this dude is literally a fucking fake. Like he thinks this is the kind of guy that thinks that he could beat everybody in the world. This man thinks that the way that I drive on actual simulators like Osaluto Racing is fake. No, it's not. It's fucking real, bro. These are legitimate races that we do. We compete. We race. Like, and for this guy to sit there and say this is just like, it's hysterical. Hey, Angel, what's going on, sis? But I just thought I'd let you guys know about that. And Jake, if you are watching this, I don't know if you are not, but if by random chance you are, dude, don't ever challenge our roommate again because you will get your ass kicked on the quarter mile. Garen fucking teed, man. So you may as well park that 95 Dodge and grab an upgrade. Like, straight up. Like, dude, get a turbo or something. Like, dude, like, I almost feel sorry for you. Like, I really fucking do. Like, I almost feel fucking sorry for you that you went and did that. Like, oh my god, dude. And like I said, if you throw a turbo in there, then maybe you might stand a chance. But even that's a long shot, bro. You can ask any driver. Any real fucking driver. Your motherfucking 95 Dodge Ram don't stand a damn chance. A uh, chance in hell against a 2013 Ford F-150 with factory turbo built in. Like, dude, like, you don't stand a chance, man. Like, you're, oh my God, dude. You just basically embarrass yourself in front of somebody who might not have a car, but knows quite a bit about cars, who has been raised around the racing scene who's been raised around trucks, cars, you know, stock cars, drift cars, you name it. Like, dude, I've been raised around that shit. Like, and for you to do that is like, oh my God. Like, you just basically embarrassed yourself in front of a real car person. I'm not saying that you're not a real car guy. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you do know quite a bit about your truck. Not going to lie. You do know your stuff about the 95 Dodge Ram. But for you to sit there and call out a more powerful car that you know will kick your ass. Dude, you're asking for a death wish. You're asking to get your ass kicked. Like, dude, you don't stand a fucking chance in the hell, man. Oh my god. Like, dude, if I actually owned any of the cars that I fucking have on Osaluto Racing Man, I would kick your ass. My Nissan S15 Sylvia does 226 tops. And that's just on a straightaway. I would blow your ass. And hell, if it came down to circuit racing, dude. My AE86 Troino might do 106, 120 something tops. Maybe 150 something. But dude, you get me on those corners with that car, dude. You're fucked. You ain't stopping me. There's a reason they call me a Drift King. There's a reason why I'm one of the world's best on there. Like, dude, you think that you're all that, but bro, you're talking to a person who competes every fucking day on a real-life-based simulator. Like, the physics are realistic to the T. 
I bust my ass on there every day, so I know cars better than you seem to think. Like, dude, you're you're fucked, man. Like, there's you're you're an embarrassment to the car world, thinking that you could be a more powerful car that you know could kick your ass. Like, you know this car could kick your ass, yet you challenge it anyway. Like, what the fuck are you thinking? The same here. Like, I was raised around all kinds of cars. Personally, my all... And if anybody were to ask me what my all-time favorite car would be, honestly, like, I would have to go old school... And I would have to either say the Camaro SS or the Dodge Charger RT. Like, and that's for old school. Now, for newer, sportier cars, definitely the Lamborghini Aventador. Aventador. Um, definitely the Porsche Carrera GT. I do like the Carrera GT. Nice car, smooth, fast. Um, now, tuner cars, you know, I definitely do like, you know, don't get me wrong, going back to sports type cars, I do like Porsche, good cars, awesome shit, love Porsche, especially the Porsche 911 Turbo, man, that thing is quick as fuck. Now, for tuner-based cars, you know, like I said, definitely the 86, the AE86 Trueno, which most of you guys know is a 90. Or is a 86 Corolla. Um, Skyline. Definitely love Nissan Skyline. Um, huge fan of Mazda RX-7, RX-8. You know, your typical badass tuner cars. Definitely, dude. Hot Rods I definitely do have a special thing for. I do like rat rods, roadsters. You know, I'm not going to lie. Those are fucking badass. But, yo, post your comments below and who you guys think would win between our roommate's 2013 Ford F-150 with turbo factory built in or my ex-best friend Jake's 1995 Dodge Ram with no turbo and just some a couple small block intercoolers. Post your comments below, guys. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys in the next live stream, man. Be sure to post your comments on who you guys think would win.